Guys, there's three different songs in her flower lights up. Welcome to Adventure Fun. <laughs> Guys, we got more Riot and the Last Dragon swag. We have no dudes in here, do we? They're just all dolls. Even the one behind here is a dolls, guys. Go ahead and discuss among yourselves about Riot and the Last Dragon. Was it good? It was fabulous. I was verklempt at the last part of the video. It was beautiful, darling. All beautiful. <laughs> Ugh. That was one of those horrific ADAD moments with Mike Myers. <laughs> no cereal. Let's go ahead and get into these. We've got a lot to cover, guys. Especially CC the Dragon! Woo! We've got the Funko Pops set up and they're in chronological order. Well, starting over here with the lowest number, which is 998, and it goes up to 999. 1,000 all the way down to 1,005. The eighth one you have to get, it's Amazon exclusive. If you want the young Raya with Tuk Tuk. So let's go ahead and open up the first two right here. You know, the two Raya's right there. We'll go with 998 first. This is number 998, and on the back, you can collect them all. There's a total of seven, but remember, the last one, number eight, is an Amazon exclusive, and you won't see it on the back. And even when you look on the back of the Amazon exclusive, it doesn't even tout itself. There's Araya with the dragon sword, and she's got her hat, and she's got a hole in her foot. There we go, the hole in her heel on that little protrusion there. Okay, now she stands, cool. Now $9.99. So there she's in her crouch-like stance. Hey, Crouching Tiger, Approaching Dragon. Okay, the name of the movie is Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. It's a cool martial arts movie. <laughs> also, Don Knotts, he was good with martial arts. Actually, she stands up pretty good. I don't know why she needs this little extra standing plate. Wow, I mean, look at the details. Look at her hair braided. That's super cool, guys. She looks good. Uh, which one's your favorite so far? The ride with the hat or the flowing hair in the wind? 1,000 is Tuk Tuk. He's just so cute. You can't see no to him, can you? Click right there, like and subscribe. He said like and subscribe. I, I just do it. So look, he's got a hole right at the bottom. So let's put him right on top. And he's a crawler, that guy. Super cool. Of course, he's bigger than Raya. Next, we got our Namari Calamari. Wow, this one looks super cool. Look at her braid right there. It looks like it's got some gold in there. Part of her head shaved. And she's got her twin dragon daggers, little sushi knives. I don't know, will she stand actually without the plate? It seems like for the most part, all of these can stand pretty well and they don't need their plates to actually prop them up, but they're there. I mean, they just wanna make sure, at least uh, with these Funko Pops, that they take a stand. And that's what they're doing, they're taking a stand. Next one, it's Noi. The root word of annoying. Noi was like hampering Raya's efforts to save the lands. Klepto, that's what she was. She's going out stealing things with their ongies. Get your ongies on, man. These guys are also troublemakers, but once they join the good side, oh, I go again. Okay, we'll wait and watch the movie. She joins the good side. Oh. Ah! Knowing her character now, after watching the show, it wouldn't surprise me if these were little bombs, you know, just like Mando, where you have those little flying whistler missiles. Pew, 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 pew. Just blah, blah, blah. I bet that's probably what they are. <laughs> See that stance? That's the stance of defiance. Boy, she won't be able to stand on those. Oh, she could. Man, Funko Pops, you're getting your game on. Look at this. Usually with those tiny feet, they'd fall back because they got such a big head. But no, and just in case, well, there we go. We can put it on that stand right there. Cool. Okay, who's next? Her friends, the Ongis, that helped her in her klepto-like state. <laughs> I wonder who taught her, or she taught the monkeys. There's our Ongis. Monkey see, monkey do, or hear no evil, speak no evil, see no evil. I mean, you got the three amigos there, and they don't need to stand. He's got enough of a wide girth that he can hold them all up. Now for Sisu, the dragon. That Sisu the Dragon looks picture perfect, right? But when I pull her out of the box, she looks good except for her nose job. I mean, <laughs> there are some comments that people just did not like her nose. And you know, when you view it straight on, she looks great, right? And actually I like her horns right there. Some little swirls in the horns, that's cool. Hair looks good. The tail looks great. 
And she should stand, I suppose, without any... Yeah, she stands really nice there. Cool. She doesn't need a plate to help prop her up. Awesome. Finally, number eight, our Amazon exclusive. And I think this is one of my favorite ones here. Tuk Tuk's my favorite and Young Raya with Tuk Tuk. I mean, look at that. She looks wholesome and clean cut and nice as a little girl. I'm a little girl in a little world. <laughs> Bugs Bunny show. Hey, go ahead and watch my other show, Space Jam. There's Bugs, he's in there. I knew there was a connection, I just had to think. Outside of the Funko Pop box. She looks really cool. And she's got her little braids there and she's got little tuk-tuk. Doesn't little tuk-tuk just look cute and adorbs? She does stand and she wobbles a little bit. And so we'll go ahead and put her on her plate. Oh, nice, her head moves. Does everybody else's head move? No. Namari's head doesn't move. Raya, oh, Raya's head moves, the crouching tiger. What about the, oh, her head moves. Raya with the sword. Namari's doesn't. What about Noi? <gasps> Noi moves. Uh, Sisu, she's frozen. I assume the monkeys wouldn't move. Nothing moves there. So guys, out of all eight of them, my favorites are Tuk Tuk and Tuk Tuk with young Raya. I mean, look at that. She's ready to fight, and she's just like, happy to be alive. She's got some changeable duds, it looks like. So we'll start with the simpler version first of Raya. But on the back, a lone warrior Raya fights to protect her world from darkness. Sometimes you just have to bend the plastic back and hope that you don't tear a whole lot of the picture. I mean, you can, just to get your hands in there, I guess, and then pull back on the, okay, that might work, guys. Oh, it's turning part of the box. Put my fingers in there. Try not to tear the, Pretty part of the background and I failed. That's okay, we keep moving. You can see she's got straps just holding her in. If you got some scissors, oh, <laughs> let's use the scissors on our little Swiss army knife. I just gotta be careful not to cut her hair. Not one strand of her hair and there's a cut. Let's just cut some strands around her booties there. And look, her cape's kind of like, just tucked into the folds here. Dragon sword, look at that. It's cool. Looks like you got some reptiles there or dragons. Could be Sisu. Oh yeah, now we got her neck. She got two strands around the neck. Just call me Doc McBuggets or Doc McStuffins, whatever, toy doctor. It practically takes one to remove them without damaging any part of them or cutting off any of her hair. Oh, he braided it very well. Down the back of her head there. She's a doll. I like her. Fancy that. She's got her cape. It looks awesome. Now let's see if her cape comes off. It looks like there's Velcro. I could be wrong. Oh. Okay, it is Velcro. So you can slide the cape off. Very nice. And the cape is very detailed. I mean, look at the bottom of that, the design. I like it. Okay, and she's got her dragon sword, which her left hand is a little bit more clenched, so we could put the sword in there. This isn't cloth at all, which she has here. It's all plastic. And she's got some nice pants on. And then look, her boots on the back are split, so you can easily pull those off. There you go. And does she stand? Okay, pretty good. It looks like right foot, left foot. She doesn't have a uniform feet. She actually has a right foot and left foot where it curves in. That's pretty cool, but she can walk. So her legs are stiff and straight. She can't bend, so you may have to move this a little bit around just to get her to stand and maybe kind of balance her out like a ballerina, you know, kind of put the weight of her arms in a certain position. And what about her torso or head? She can't twist her head. And so that's about as much movement you're gonna get out of her. Now let's do her twin over here. She got more of a fashion statement. She's got more clothes that she can change in. And it's got reversible. So you can actually flip her duds inside out. It just says Raya's Adventure Styles. And with this Raya, it just said Raya. And then on the back, it says when the lands of Kamandra are threatened, Raya has to find the last dragon together. They must save the world. And you can have her with a hat. Without the hat, you can take off the cape and also change her clothes inside out. All right, let's go ahead and open them up. I'm gonna cut at the bottom of the tape to get the tape out of the way. It's like there's a fold. So the plastic goes right in between the cardboard here. And so either way, if you start tearing, oh, it's just gonna tear that. I don't know how long I can keep this up, guys. Oh, you gotta be careful. Yeah, that's very sharp. Not as fine as paper cut can still cut. Or... Oh. oh, that's it. I've had it. Oh. We weren't able to salvage this. It doesn't look pretty, but I don't know if there was an easier way to do this. See that? Those uh, flaps were right in between the cardboard. Well, we got a lot of plastic that we can cut here that will hold the sword. Then we got to cut. You know, it just looks like it's the same packaging and the way they tucked it in. Oh, look, it's got its Velcro right there. So for her blue duds, cool, makes it nice. Okay, there's her vest. 
I don't know if this is reversible. I mean, you get the tiger camouflage kind of a look or the spotted leopard. I don't think that's part of it. Camera mom just pointed it out just because looking at the other doll, thank goodness. We got a gale on set that can help point these things out with dolls as I'm just gender challenged and I'm just a dude. But look at that when you flip it around. Does it not matcheth her shirteth? And there's her hat. And she's got like the clip that goes onto her head kind of goes forward. So I'm wondering if you put it forward like that, if it keeps it low over the front of the eyes versus the back and try it both ways. There we go. What if we went the other way? Yeah, you see, <laughs> it's a good sun shade, but it's not as cool. She can't go out and fight looking like a nerd. Right, you look good. She's got her cape and her cape looks great. Just like the other cape, right? Same cape with the design down at the bottom. And look, it's Velcro, right? Okay, that comes off. The other one was plastic for her shirt. And this one is actually fabric. So I guess you just go ahead and leave this on. I mean, I wouldn't dare try. Oh, no, actually on the back, it's Velcroed. Okay, well, that gets more PG-13. I'll leave that to the girls to do that. Her boots look the same, don't they? Or are they different? Oh, man, she's not going to stand without her booties. Oh, she does bend back. Oh, that was a chiropractic adjustment. I hear that pop? <laughs> Did she do the same? Yeah, she can bend her torso. So the booties are the same, except she's got a little bit of kind of a nice bronze design up at the top. That looks nice. And so let's go ahead and see what it looks like with their vest. Girls, you gotta have a lot of patience, man, to be able to dress up dolls and stuff with gujitsu. Just slam them and just rip them. I'm coming through gujitsu-like mentality with the gooey stuff. I can't goo and bend her arm back or break it. Ah! Now this arm's straight, right? So maybe it's better to put the straight arm on first, like a straight jacket, Ugh. and go all the way up. And because her other arm bends, oh, maybe we should go backwards. Gotta go back. Oh, it's just so close. Oh, okay, okay. Oh man. Please support the Adventure Fund Foundation for stresses of trying to like do videos like this where you're not sure if you're gonna break anything. <laughs> what do you guys think? Vest look okay? All right, awesome. So this just goes on one side, I believe. There we go, the arm. Let's unvelcro this. So there we go. We got her blue. Toga, toga. I just defeminized the video with a little bit of masculinity <laughs> comment. It was the Tasmanian devil in me. I'm still coming off the Space Jam video that we did. <laughs> oh, we gotta get her to stand. So what do you guys think? I mean, she's got the braid on the back of her hair, just like the other one here, but you got changeable apparel. And look, her hair's all tussled more. Her hair's all nice and combed. It doesn't come with the comb, does it? <laughs> well, you can't get her hair combed back in and then you could just go for it all out everything but i like it with the tunic on the outside and the cape without the tunic either one or the other but i guess she could wear both Of the two, which one do you like? Camera mom kind of brought up a point here. She was saying this one looks more like the riot from the movie than these two right here. But she says these two, their faces look cuter. They both look good to me, but if you notice a difference, she seems a little bit more narrower in the face and these two ladies over here a little bit more plumper. Not that they're fat or anything, it just seems a little bit more round. It's your flavor. So let's go ahead and do the riot here. And look, you can see it's got the Disney logo, so it's a Disney special. It says with additional articulation. She knows how to pronounce her. <laughs> and then on the back, it's just a beautiful sky. That's it. And soon the bigger the dolls get, the easier it is to pull them out of their package without tearing the package. It's very frustrating for us koi collectors. Okay, so there's that side, which looks nice. Clip them here, the bands. Okay, there's the sword. Pull that out and there's your hat. And look, guess that just straps around her chin. Oh, it's like a little band. It will work. Oh man. <laughs> I didn't realize she was that articulate. I'm like <laughs> some sort of spooky, creepy show. <laughs> look at that just spins, spins, spins. It's just weird. It's just crazy. It's just freaky. That just freaked me out for a minute. Oh, look at that. It's just right there. There's a plastic clip right there. You gotta be yeah. so careful. I don't know. You think I just rip it off? Okay, but it's still in her hair. Look, it's a little clip. <laughs> it's actually probably keeping her hair together. I don't know. It just doesn't look beautiful, so we probably ought to... Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> oh, they, did they do it right into her head? That's not right, guys. Ow. I can't pull it out. I think they gunned it right into the back of her head. Look at that. You think I can pull it out or just try to clip it down to the base of her head? We got our needle nose pliers, our toy tool bag. I have two options, I think. I can either try to clip it off at the base or try to pull it out and see if it comes out. Otherwise, I could really mess up the head. I guess that's the third option. Push it and see if it goes right back into the hole. Maybe shake the head around. You'll hear something rattling. I don't know. We do this to see if... 
Oh, wow. You see that? There's the Y down into her head. I don't know, guys. Disney, uh, you may not want to secure it as such. Uh, well, okay, so that one worked without any noticeable damage. <laughs> well, how'd the Ongis pick the fleas out of her hair? Oh. Oh. oh, look, I got some hair. Yikes. Okay, well, we did our best, guys. We just lost a couple of pennies there in resale value. <laughs> We gotta put away our jaws of life. I tell you, it's a grown up adult sport to unbox these things. I like her pants. Her pants are pretty soft and those poofy things, you know, what do they call them? Knickerbockers, culottes. I wanna take a look at her arms. You see how she bends at the elbow? So her elbow, ooh, God, you hear that? Okay, but it still bends pretty good. And her wrist is pretty free flowing. She can bend at the knees. Her torso doesn't twist. Her legs bend, her head twists twists a little bit. Her boots are actually smoother. They don't have that rougher texture as the other ones do. Her ankles bend too. Huh. Uh, it makes it hard for her to stand maybe if they bend too easy because then they're just going to fold and collapse on her. She will probably need her boots. So the inside of her vest, I guess you can flip it on the inside out if you wanted to because it looks like it does come off. With her, it might be a little bit easier because she can bend at the elbows where the other Raya couldn't. She does have Velcro on the back right here. So you could take off her top, it looks like. Maybe. Oh, she got her belt. That's cool. Actually, her belt. And this is probably the only time I might agree with keeping that clip on. Maybe for the belt, because that's what's keeping the belt. I don't know. I'm going to take it off so you guys can go, hey, is it really supposed to be there? No, it's not. See, look, look at her belt. It actually has a clasp on it. So you see how they got the plastic tie in there to keep it there? But supposedly, if we clip that off, and then it's got that little notch there that can goes right into the hole to basically clip on. Yeah, it's not a total snap inside of it. So over time, it will kind of start just easily just come apart. So yeah, you can take off her clothes and I don't know if you can change it with her duds over there, but we'll leave that to the ladies to go ahead and play dress up dolls and do all that. I present to you the sword of Kamandra. I mean, oh, it doesn't really hold that well. Maybe I'm not putting it on the right way. <laughs> She's going around to pick up litter. First you take a rag, put it in the bag, boom, boom. Uh, you see, it just looks like if any hand it goes into, it'd be this hand, but it doesn't seem like there's a way to like get her to hold it and her wrist just falls limp. And maybe guys, we just have a lemon here. See that picture right there? She got the sword at the back. I mean, I, that seems to work. She looks cool. I like her. Let's go ahead and do our young rye. Now what makes young rye special? Well, let's take a look. Okay, so first of all, you guys can see it's young rye and Kumandra flower, and it says try me. So it looks like when you push the flower up, you get lights and sounds as it says there. And then on the back, it says her father's daughter, young rye believes in dragons. Let's go ahead and open her up then. The moment I start cutting, I make it any movement. All these like dominoes are gonna clip each other and fall down, just kind of like that old toy we used to have when we were growing up, Weebo Wobblos. Weebo Wobblos, but they won't fall down. Kung Fu Panda, what you got? He hits the big dummy, goes over and it comes back up, smacks him and knocks the tooth out. <laughs> That's what Weebo Wobbles are. But these guys, when they fall down, they ain't gonna come back up. That was an a bad moment. I think I'm cutting through plastic, not just tape. Oh, look. There's a picture of our young Raya. And then on the back, you can see that when you push the flower up, she'll sing to you. Down at the bottom, just on the side in her leg, got some batteries. Again, it's the same old thing where the plastic's embedded in between. There's just no way. This thing's just, oh. Like I said, the plastic's in between the cardboard there and it's just tearing it apart. Ow. Oh, that will like embed into your hand. That's sharp plastic. This isn't really safe. This unboxing is getting pretty hazardous to my health. There we go. So if you tear off the back, you see how it's way embedded and glued in the plastic. There's just no way. They do have perforations here, but look, the plastic's so weak, it gives way before even the perforations. So, or you know what? Maybe get some skeezers, man. And, you know, cut along those dotted lines or as close as you can without cutting her. Oh yeah, that's smoother. That's a lot easier by far. And you can see she's all strapped in. Little scissors and start clipping those little bands that strapped her in. Oh, now they got it to her hair. Actually, if I can just pull the hair out, I don't have to cut into it, that's nice. Oh, cool. Actually, you don't have to cut into her hair. 
Nice. Guys, there's three different songs in her flower lights up. We ought to turn off the lights and show you that. But before we do that, I was going to say out of all the clothes and stuff, I like hers. Hers are really pretty. I like the patterns and the different shades of blue, the blue green. That's what you had to do to pass a class to be a theater major. <laughs> now look what it's brought me. It's got me appreciation for clothes. And oh man, it just looks like a peacock. Just the eyes of a peacock almost from a distance. So I really like her clothes. Super cool. Oh, her shoes. So it looks like they got a band around her feet. And we can just take the band off. Let's see, shoes come off, yep. Kind of reminds me of those Swiss clogs. That's pretty cool. That she's hip. And when she got older, she had to go the way of the earth. The nice dusty browns. You know, camouflage when you're out there fighting. You can't go out there like a peacock proud and displaying your colors. You get knocked off. So guys in the back, if you go ahead and just pull up Velcro here. Well, there's the speaker, okay? And then just down on the side of her leg here, there's the screw right there for the batteries. So it was funny because on Amazon, somebody gave it a one-star review because he said, the battery's dying, you can't change it. Well, instructions? Guys, let's see that beautiful flower. Let's just raise her left hand. There's the first of what I think are three songs. Here's the second one. Pull her hand down, raise it up. Nice, and here's the last one. We got Sisu in her human form. So it's a Disney exclusive. And this one also has with additional articulation. There's nothing on the back here, so let's just get going. She's got stapled in the back of her hair too. Let's check the back of her head. I don't see the other parts of the plastic pieces, so they may have just fallen in the head. Yeah, they did. Plastic pieces are rattling around in her head. I mean, she was kind of a loose cannon. Ooh, what are we doing with the human body? Let's go ahead and get the bands off of her feet. You can see her ankles, they bend, so hopefully not too bendable, so it, they don't fold when you try to stand her up. She is kind of bow-legged here, if you look at her knobby knees there. <laughs> I just have a hard time getting her to stand. And you see the ball, I just take it off. See, it was strapped onto her hand, and now without that rubber band there, then how is she going to hold it? Well, there's a hole in there. Maybe you could just kind of slide it on her thumb. Now, if you could just get her to stand, which I really can't, and so we're going to cheat. We're going to use one of our doll stands. Get her to stand. Yay! It works, because not all dolls really stand, and so at least when you want to play, you can bend her ankles and bend her knees and bend her at the hips. Wow, she's really articulate. I mean, you can really move her around, and her head moves too and she can bend at the elbows yeah she can bend the wrist too okay finally now we have sisu not in her human form but as her original form the dragon and on the back you have your crouching tiger the last dragon sisu is majestic wise and powerful first of all i'm trying to find any signs of tape oh wow her tail is not intact <laughs> Wire cutters. It's an unboxing man's best friend. And so that way we can just go ahead and snippity snip, snip, snip. Oh, that's so satisfying. Her dragon hair feels nice and like luxurious. What do you use? Oh. Okay, so somehow we got to connect her tail. Try to see if we can snap it on. You gotta have a little playroom. And there's not a satisfying snap to that. Oh, actually now it's, you see how of a fit that is right there? That's kind of cool. Oh, that doesn't turn, it stays like that, but this can wag back and forth, you know, in the water. She's pretty cool, I like that. And the hair, I don't know, with pretty hair like that, how it's glistening, you'd think it would smell like something like grapes. Let's compare, do they have any resemblance? She looks more like Elsa from Frozen. Look, I got a Raya and the Last Dragon shirt. Pretty cool. These were all the dolls out there that we got, and it's pretty cool. The Funko Pops I like, which one's your favorites? Be sure to like and subscribe. That way when we get more of the Raya and the Last Dragon toys and dolls, we'll hurry and post them, and then you can see how hard they are to unbox. But not for us, because we have wire cutters. Please click on one of these videos for more events of fun.